Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have a Deanston on the cask. Yes, I always share the whiskies with Horst and me after all the distilleries I've been to and he has been to, but he has been to more than I by far because he has much more experience. And I have been to Deanston, but although it should have been tasted by Horst because he has been to Deanston more. <laughs> I think he's been to Deanston twice and I have visited Deanston when I was not in the whiskey business. So I, I really couldn't grasp all that was going on at the Deanston distillery. All I can remember was uh, they're running a, a pretty big business. They have their own turbine for creating their own electricity and uh, other stuff and they get the, the water from the nearby river as it's really, really fresh and the energy. And yeah, that is Deanston. And today we're trying something new from Deanston. It's called um, Deanston Stout Cast Finish and it's in cooperation with Dragon's Milk. Um, it's, a, it's a stout, definitely stout cast finish. And it was matured uh, in ex bourbon casks and it's a finish. So mm, let me explain that to you. The Deanston was matured in ex bourbon casks and then refilled into these uh, Dragon's Milk Stout casks. And the Dragon's Milk Stout casks have been matured in also in ex bourbon casks. So yeah, it's kind of a a refill refill mm -hmm. so um but a very interesting story indeed as the beer or stout cast finished or matured whiskies are not there are not many of them there they're really rare on the market and they usually do have a bit of a extraordinary taste to it i've had some some irish ones the irish do that more often than the yeah the scottish mm. the dragon's milk by the way is a united states company so it's uh, from the west end of or west coast of the lake michigan oh is it west coast or east coast that did on the on the west side of them West Bank. Mm. So it's a. It smells like a, a normal fresh. Uh, bourbon cast matured whiskey. Pretty sweet and a little bit uh, fresh notes, fresh fruit in it. But also a little bit of a, a hopsy note, like a. A little bit of a, a remembrance of a craft beer. When you know these hefty craft beers with a lot of hops in it. Mm. Should, should, is, there, is there a lot of hops in, in stout? I don't think so. I've never tried Dragon's Milk. I'm, I'm really regretting that now because from the, the smell of it, it must be a, a strange stout. The stout is that really, really black and thick oily type of beer but that here is a uh, very fresh and hopsy mint no not minty but herby kind of whiskey but not everything not all the flavors have to come from the stout cask mm. 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 Just now I realized, oh, that is high strength. Yeah, it has 50.5% ABV and it's, it's sweet, it's fresh mm, with a little bit of a, yeah, multi creamy side when the when the taste develops i don't want to say finish but at the beginning it's very fresh and bourbon and mm, fruity 
and then it goes into that multi creamy stout mm, hopsy a little bit hopsy the, the flavor is the nose is more hopsy than the taste mm. Whoa. Mm. A second one is mm, much more volume, much more mm, bitterness, much more oak in there as well. It doesn't carry an age statement, does it? Non chill filtered, no added color, unpeated. No age statement. Mm, but it, it feels like there is a lot of oak in there. That's that oak that really stacks up. Mm, the second sip was definitely not as fresh, fruity, and sweet as the first one, but more as full volume, oak heavy kind of whiskey. Mm, combined with that maltiness, stout flavor, now it really comes through as a stout. It, it really takes some time. Mm. 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 I've never seen any dragon's milk beer in any of the shops I visited mm, where they sell beer. Mm. But it's from the New Holland Brewing Company and I think they really focus on the American market. So maybe you could get it in some special stores in the next big town, but mm, I'm quite satisfied with that Deanston as well. Mm. Don't need that stout. Um, I'm quite happy with my Deanson. Mm, but it's a lovely, it's a lovely Highland whiskey. It's strange that it, it's one of these journey whiskeys that starts off sweet and fruity and ends up really hefty, really strong, really oaky. Mm. Shows you a whiskey, how a whiskey can even change within the uh, tasting you have. Mm, I like it. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please feel free to subscribe to the channel and see you next time.